What's up, YouTubers? This is your boy, Big Natural Fan 12, coming to you with another video. And pretty much in this video, I'm going to talk about any NES and stuff like that. And it's no stress to say that um, the NES has one of the best game libraries during the 8 bit era and stuff like that. And everything along with uh, the Sega Master System and stuff. And of course, some of the games are well known for a, a number of different of reasons and stuff like that. For example, uh, Ghost and Goblins, Festus Quest, Battletoads, and like Castlevania are all well known for being like very difficult to play. You know what I'm saying? While games like uh, Back to the Future, uh, The Uncanny X Men, and NFL Football were all just like straight terrible you know what i'm saying but nonetheless people who have had the nes or currently own one have their favorite games and stuff like that which range from say legend of zelda to castlevania to super mario 3 and everything and there are um six specific um nes games that i've that I've played and I really enjoy and the games are pretty much Metroid, Mega Man 2, Mega Man 6, Tecmo Bowl, Conjuring and Super C. Now, pretty much with Metroid, of course it's the first uh, one that was released within the uh, Metroid franchise and stuff and Metroid for the NES is the pretty much the first game to have a, a non-linear uh, gameplay and the first one to have a female protagonist in an action game. Now, how they reviewed it was one of the big, was always big. Um, back back when this game came out, and for good reason. Now, in Metroid's instruction booklet, it always refers to uh, Samus Aran as a guy. You know what I'm saying? But once you like beating it within like an hour or two, you know what I'm saying, it reveals Samus's true identity, showing her showing her who she is, you know what I'm saying, as a woman and stuff like that. And that um plot twist within Metroid shocked the mess out of people, you know what I'm saying? But but in a good way, you know what I'm saying, and Metroid just ended up developing a fan base, fan base, based off of that one plot twist, and I don't think no other game got a fan base based off of one uh, plot twist that big and everything. Now, it is worth uh, uh, noting that Metroid didn't um, age well per se, but it is a beloved classic, and that's why uh, Metroid Zero Mission for the Game Boy Advance exists, you know what I'm saying, because uh, Nintendo pretty much uh, did, uh, addressed the uh, flaws that's in um, the original Metroid and stuff, plus, of course, uh, you can um, unlock um, Metroid in Metroid Prime and in uh, Metroid Zero Mission and everything. Plus, on the Switch, you can you can play it online uh, on play it yeah, play the original Metroid online, pretty much along with some other uh, NES games. You know. Now, with Mega Man Two, this pretty much this game pretty much is highly regarded as the best Mega Man game is in the entire series and, and everything and pretty much um, this particular game I was introduced to it through one of my cousins who had it along with the, with the first uh, Mega Man game and when I played a little bit of it when he showed me this I was pretty much intrigued by it I'm not gonna lie and um plus some years later I, I watched a segment of the uh, show Game Pro Magazine, the Game Pro Magazine show, which had a segment showing you how to beat uh, Dr. Riley in Mega Man 2. 
then a couple months later, I would say like a month later, I end up getting Mega Man 2, and um, end up beating it not too long after that, you know what I'm saying, and pretty much, first place I would like to start is the soundtrack, it, it's pretty much excellent, you know what I'm saying, range from Bubble Man's music to Metal Man's music, you know what I'm saying, I don't have a, a gripe with me with the soundtrack at all, you know what I'm saying, it's one of the best soundtracks that I've heard on any NES game, I would say it's probably top 20, it's pretty much top 25, if not top 10 for sure, you know what I'm saying, and, and I do like uh, the weapons, like the Metal Blade, Crash Bomber, Air Man's um, uh, weapon with the lead shield and all that, you know what I'm saying, and the metal blade is the one weapon that is uh, pretty handy, you know what I'm saying, different situation. And you can um, use it against different bosses, like Metal Man himself, when you face him the second time. Another one is like uh, Wood Man, Bubble Man, and stuff like other uh, bosses like Fat and everything. Now... The graphics are pretty good and they hold up pretty well, you know what I'm saying? You know, and the design is pretty good and don't matter if you're talking about uh, the Dr. Wily stages or Airman stage and all that, and it all holds up pretty good in my opinion. And I can understand why uh, people uh, say that this is the best Mega Man game, you know what I'm saying? And plus the gameplay is actually pretty good too and stuff like that. Now with Mega Man 6, I would say that one is pretty much the most underrated Mega Man game on the NES, if not the entire series, you know what I'm saying. Now the main complaint that I understand is that people say that um, uh, Mega Man 6 didn't do anything new with the gameplay. and and I don't see what the problem is. It, it, there's some days that was in um, like Mega Man 3 and Mega Man 4 and all that, but the gameplay is, is still excellent, you know what I'm saying? You you, you can slide, you can use the Mega Buster, plus you can use Rush uh, uh, to fly, or um, which is um, the um, jetpack suit, or the um, Power Mega Man, which you can um, use it to... Uh, uh, op open up certain uh, areas and stuff like that and you, because of those two items that, that from from rush you're able to uh, get to things you you normally can't get to without them because I know that you can get the um, power Mega Man suit by defeating um, fireman I mean not fireman but uh, flame man and I it's either uh, you defeat Blizzard Man or Plant Man to, to get the other one, the other uh, suit from Rush, you know what I'm saying, the jetpack and stuff. Not only that, um, uh, you can get another, uh, you can get a robotic bird named Beat, which a lot, the best way to get to, to get them is to um, defeat um, Tomahawk Man, Yamato Man, Night Man, and uh, Centaur Man. And all four of them have like a second layer that you go to. And if you go to that second layer of theirs, uh, that's how you spell out beat and everything. And uh, once you um, get beat, you can um, use him, use the bird to uh, take out certain. You could use it to take out like regular enemies and stuff. So I think that some people don't even uh, go to the second layer of these four bosses and stuff like that. And um, pretty much the uh, soundtrack is excellent too. And I think uh, the soundtrack, much, much like the game itself, is pretty much underrated when you compare it to the other the previous five Mega Man games and stuff like that. I really enjoyed like uh, Tomahawk Man's uh, music, Centaur Man's music, Night um, Man and stuff like that, and all of it. This 
do pretty excellent when you, if you ask me, you know, and, uh, and everything. Plus, like the graphics and stuff are, are pretty good. And they they hold up just as well. You know what I'm saying? So I just don't understand why Mega Man Six is underrated as it is. You know, and everything. Now with Tech Mobile, I would say this is pretty much the first um, NFL licensed game on the NES that was actually pretty good, you know what I'm saying, compared it to uh, say like uh, NFL football, a game that I talked about not too long ago. Now, um, the biggest flaw of Tech Mobile, the, pretty much the first Tech Mobile game is that it don't have all the teams. Uh, only as far as the NFL teams are concerned, it has like certain teams like uh, Minnesota, Washington, Chicago, teams like that. And despite the fact they don't have all the um, teams on it, the the uh, replay value actually is pretty decent. You know what I'm saying? Because I think it has, if I remember correctly, it has like around somewhere between 15 and 18 teams. You know what I'm saying? When you, when you talk about the uh, single player aspect of it, then there's the um. But a lot of people, the, the main reason why people played it is because of the um, two player mode. You, you get your friends together, and you play as as like as like Cleveland or Chicago and stuff like that. Yeah, you, you had a pretty good time with um, Tech Mobile. You know what I'm saying? One thing about Tech Mobile is that the plays were pretty much on screen before you actually, um, before the ball was hiked. You, you know, you had like four uh, plays you could choose from, on, both on offense and defense and everything. And um, uh, Tech Mobile was pretty much a fast paced game. It's pre pretty much pretty similar to what you would see on the, in an actual NFL game and everything. And the soundtrack is also excellent, even though the uh, soundtrack isn't like have don't have a whole lot of uh, tracks to it, but it's still good though. And, and there's two music pieces that play during the gameplay when there's like when Team One is on offense, it, one piece of music plays, and it, and then, uh, when Team Two is on offense. It has a different like uh, music all together, so I like that. You know what I'm saying? And of course, this led to um, three other. No, it's four other um, Tecmo Bowl games, but that all of them were called Tecmo Super Bowl, which all of them pretty much had license from the NFL and the NFL Players Association which allowed it to have all the teams from the time and have preseason mode, season mode, and all of that. Because there was like um, one uh, Tecmo Super Bowl game for the NES and three Tecmo Super Bowl games on the Super Nintendo and uh, Sega Genesis and stuff. And um, it was like the main difference between the Tecmo Super Bowl and the NES and the one the Super Nintendo its Genesis was um, um the one on the NES was based on one season the other two were uh, based the other one were based on a, on a entirely different season on, uh, and, uh, and all that and I just gotta wonder if the Tecmo Bowl series was uh, inf had an influence on uh, the Madden series and stuff like that now with Contra it's pretty much one of the best running gun NES games that I've played in everything. It's pretty like fast paced. There's a lot of enemies coming at you, even though it's not technically not as hard as um uh, say Castlevania or Battletoads or anything like that. You know. Uh to me calling Contra a classic is a massive understatement to me, if you know what I'm saying. And um thing about it is that this was the first game to really popularize the Konami code even though the first it was first featured in like uh, Gradius and stuff like that like I said this is really like a fast paced game you know what I'm saying especially with 
uh, the two on the two player co op. You know what I'm saying? Now, um, of course, it has like the four weapons you can choose from: with the spread gun, laser, machine gun, fireball. And um, one thing about it is that, um, of course, the weapon of choice is the spread gun. You know what I'm saying? It's like one well, practically the strongest gun in the game. You know what I'm saying? And um, pretty much this has one of the uh, best uh, gameplay uh, with the run and gun down and stuff like that especially since you can shoot in eight directions and everything now um, pretty much um, even though like the lasers is considered uh, the, the weakest um, weapon in the uh, game where you can you can tell like three or four like uh runners in a row with it you know what i'm saying now the soundtrack to me it just fits the tone of contra and uh and it is one of the best economy soundtracks that i've heard ever you know what i'm saying when you can when i consider the different economy games that i played over the years and um and country is pretty much the best looking game on it one of the best looking games on the NES and everything and it held up pretty good in my opinion now now with super c which is of course the um sequel to contra isn't technically as well known as contra but it's just as good just as hard in you know, everything i would say that it's pretty much slightly harder than country in my opinion like pretty much the weapons return, you know what I'm saying, with the spray, laser, machine gun, fireball. But they change how the fireball fires, you know what I'm saying? Instead of like a cir circular motion, it just like goes goes in a straight shot, and it once it hits like a wall or an enemy or something like that, it's go it like does like a spread out type of thing of the four fireballs itself, you know what I'm saying? And the, the spread gun is still the gun, the, the, the weapon of choice when, you, when, you, when you're playing it, you know what I'm saying. And one of the um, major differences between Super C and Contra is the fact that there are two stages that are like overhead stages and you can't jump. And that aspect of it, I don't get, but it's pretty much a minor gripe, you know what I'm saying. And it doesn't have uh, the Konami code in it, but you do. There is a code where you can get ten men. That I, that part of it, I don't get why could you get like thirty men, like in a contra and stuff like that. But the um, like it's I don't have like like a um, really like harp on it too much you know what I'm saying but it, it still give you extra lives though now there's only like a handful of enemies that like return in Super C like the uh, runners the snipers and stuff like that it had but Super C has a new like list of enemies like um helicopter balls tank balls um and different like enemies like that and everything and that is something that I that I like uh, that that Konami just instead of uh, re reusing enemies from the first uh, Contra just have a new list of enemies to put in Super C and stuff like that. And the design and graphics to Super C are pretty good, just as good as Contra in my opinion. And the one thing I do like is the soundtrack. It is pretty excellent. And I do like the um, uh, music from the uh, third stage, and it has that uh, grit to it, in my opinion, you know what I'm saying? Now, with that being said, you can sound off in the comment section as far as the type of uh, NES, NES games that, that, are, that are your pretty much favorite and everything. And if you like this video, don't hesitate to click the thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe, and uh, this is your... Boy, Big Metro Japan 12 signing off.